Welcome back, Fantasy Fiction Fanatics. It's great to see you again, and I hope you're doing well. Today we are talking about another Dragonlance magical item, and we are going to be talking about the most iconic item of them all, and that is the Dragonlance. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For the appearance of the Dragonlance, it is a very simple designed lance. It is just a typical jousting lance, nothing special about it, nothing specific and adornments and things like that. The only thing is that it is silver, um, but there is no special etching or anything like that that are uh, decorating it or whatever. It's just a standard lance, uh, but specifically silver. It is made of dragon metal, so it is a very specific um, type of metal that makes it, which is dragon metal, and must be made by someone with the arm of Urgoth and the hammer of Karas. Karasas? Karas? Please, somebody tell me how to pronounce that, because I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so those are the requirements that are meant to make this lance. So it is a very specific lance, very special lance, because of how it is made, not necessarily by how it looks. Its abilities is basically standard. It kills dragons. It slays dragons. And so it allows somebody who is not able to slay a dragon to be able to have a weapon that is specifically designed to help slay a dragon. Um, and it can only be wielded, though, by those who believe in its uh, power, believe in it, and it can be used either sta uh, standing like a foot soldier or mounted on another dragon. So you can have two uses um, and we do see both kind of uses in the Dragonlance novels. Um, who uses it? Again, as I just mentioned, it can only be used by someone who believes in its power. Um, so the times that it is used, it is used by people who actually do believe that they can slay the dragon through wielding the Dragonlance. Um, but I don't specifically remember any like character that we no like main character specifically using it so please i would love in the comments down below if i am wrong about this or if i'm just not remembering correctly who specifically uses it in the books because there is mention of other like people using it and there is mention of you know lorana doing battle with dragons and on dragon back and stuff but i don't specifically remember a specific person using it I do think when Tass and Flint go up on their dragon that there is a lance mounted to it, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember them really using it that much. But maybe I'm just misremembering. So I would love your guys' help on this part um, on who specifically uses it. The closest thing I can think of is Tass and Flint. Anybody else who uses it, we didn't really see like in action them using it. Um, and it mostly was named by un named parties, other people in the army. And what is its importance to the story? So the importance is that the good side, or the side that we are rooting for, <laughs> um, is able to then have a weapon that helps them defeat Tachysis, because without these dragon lances, it's extremely, extremely hard to kill a dragon. Um, and even in with Palanthus, you know, the battle at Palanthus is that they use the dragon orb to call the dragons into the traps and use the dragon lances to stab and kill them, the, the dragons, which ends up turning the tide of that battle in their favor. So it is very important for the dragon lances to be used uh, to help against dragons in battle. And I think that that is all I have on the dragon lances. So again, comment down below about who uses them if I am getting a specific character that does indeed wield one. Um, and yeah, what is your thought on the dragon lances? Do you like them? Do you think that they're cool? Um, anything special that you would like to add? I would love to hear about it and know more of your opinions on it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.